but he always wears the necklace that she gave him and I remember how he smiles when he recalls the memories of his sister. I know that Jisoo loves his sister very much. I want to know more about your sister. If she's someone special, Jisoo, I want to know more about her as well. I want to know why he was looking so depressed when he was talking about his sister. Didn't I tell you before? I can't remember what he said last time. Jisoo told me that only the two of them lived together after the parents were gone. Yeah, well, you never got to finish. Jisoo turned around and looked at me. You want to hear about her? His voice was low. I slowly nodded. I want to know about you too. Those are the words that Jisoo told me. I wonder if he remembers. Now it's my turn to know about Jisoo. To know about my cat. Jisoo sat on a bench and motioned me to sit next to him. I sat down next to him. Lily and I were together ever since we were little. She was smaller than other cats and would often get teased for it. She was almost eaten by wolves too. Wolves? This was like a fairy tale. I wonder if wolves can turn themselves into humans like Jisoo as well. I wouldn't ask Neil, but it didn't. Yeah, they're really barbar barbarous. And <laughs> they travel in groups and bully smaller and weaker animals. Jisoo is really from another world. I knew it already, but the story reminded me once again. Well, I wanted to tell you more indeed, but it would be a breach of contract. Sorry. You can't tell me about the contract? It's the link that connects you and me, and I can't tell you any more than that. The link? Should I be thankful for this connection? I couldn't tell. I would have to know what the contract is about, but I do believe that I was lucky to meet Jisoo, no matter what the link is. Well, I'll be able to tell you everything someday. Jisoo had a sad expression on his face. Why are you saying that? I suddenly became agitated. I wonder if Jisoo will someday leave me like Jian did. That he'll one day disappear without telling me everything. Then you protected your sister all along? I changed the subject. Thinking about it more would break my heart. Yeah, my parents were hardly ever home. Cats are always like that. I see. I felt as if he was telling me a story of a fantasy world. To him, it's a real world, but it seems so surreal to me. Lily likes shiny things. She recollects stones or other objects that are shiny. That's cute. Girls usually do. I never met her before, but I have a feeling she's really cute. She's Jesus too. She probably looks cute too. Yeah, she's cute. Jesus smiles softly upon hearing my compliment. But two years ago, after my parents were gone, Jesus was no longer smiling. I was away from home for two days catching fish. When I returned, Lee was laying down on the floor crying. Her eyes were in pain and she was crying on the floor looking for me. I took her to the doctor, but nothing could be done. He said she'll just end up losing her eyesight. Oh, I didn't know what to say. I have imagined a story like this. He said it's not just a vision that she'll lose. If we don't do anything, then eventually... I'm okay. Lily, don't say that. I'll make sure that you'll get better. Hey, here, have this. Th this is your favorite necklace. I can't see more, so it's okay for you to have all of my jewelry and shiny things. Lily. I was actually going to give this to my first boyfriend, but you're the most precious person to me, so I'll give it to you. Lily, I'm sorry. You must be scared. I'm so sorry for leaving the house for a long time and leaving you by yourself. I had no idea that you were this sick. I'm so, so sorry. I promise I'll make you better. I'll make sure to come home every day. Leah, make sure that you'll never be alone anymore. Just promise that you'll never give up, okay? As far as I know, there is no medication to help me. As far as I know, there is no medication to help your sister. It's no use. And you call yourself a doctor. How can you give up on your patient so easily? If money is what you need, just say it. Here it is. I told you, it can't be helped. There is no use having hope. You should prepare yourself for... Shut up! If something goes wrong with Lily, I'm going to make you sorry. I do have the medication. This is even cured a blind man, but it's a little expensive. If it works, it's worth a try. By the way, how much do you have? Don't worry about the money. You get the medication ready. I'll do anything to save my sister. If you're in money, you should be able to... You will do some dirty work, right? You should tell your sister that you'll be home late tonight. Please stop. I know that I can't be cured. That I'm dying. Don't say that. I'm going to make you better. I promise. I'll protect you. 
than your sister is. Jesus' story broke my heart. Jesus was so bright and playful. I had no idea he had such a past. I thought I was the only one hiding a painful past and acting fine. She's still alive. Thank goodness. She's still alive. But she must be sick. The thought made me sad. There's nothing I can do for Jisoo. She's blind now and can't even walk anymore though. Then where is your sister now? Jisoo looked up at the sky without answering. Jisoo? My sister is far away at a place where I can't go to. Jisoo's voice trembled a bit. A place where you can't go, then you can't meet her? For now. Jisoo looked at me again. I can't imagine how Jisoo must feel when he's talking about his sister. You must miss her a lot. Jisoo didn't reply, but I knew. He's never taken that necklace off from his neck. She'll get better. Those were the only words I could offer him. You know, Jisoo talked while looking straight ahead. Should I tell you thank you? So much of the question he asked me last time. I still have no idea what that question means. I'm afraid of falling for you. Huh? Afraid? It sounds as if he's scared of liking me. I think the only thing I can do for you right now is to laugh next to you and cheer you up. Tisa looked at me. He had this he had that serious look on his face, the one that he sometimes shows. Then you're doing a good job for a cat. Jisoo stepped closer. He's already close enough. Wait, if you come any closer, really I had no idea they would fall for you this much. My ears are tickling. My face is burning up. I'm scared because I don't want to be apart from you. What did he just say? What? His face, which was close enough to kiss me back, kiss me, backed away. That I won't ever want to date other girls. She saw another girls. I can send a picture of him surrounded by unfamiliar girls. If that were to happen, I might get jealous. Don't say that. But of course, I'll never find a girl who eats, who feeds me better than you. Jisoo smiled. It's the same face that I see every day, but it seems different today. For the first time, I felt Jisoo's sm smiling face was adorable. I wouldn't ask, but I was afraid that it would trouble him. It's probably nothing. Right now, just this moment, I didn't want to let go of his hand. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I I don't like hearing about Jesus' sister. I mean, I love her to bit. She's one of my favorite, she is also one of my favorite characters. But hearing that, Jesus, oh man. My kitty cat. Oh, I feel really emotional right now. Okay, um, we're gonna end the episode there. Um, I'm so sorry for the banging. I have to go cry a little now. I was such a buzz. I get like so absorbed into this story. Okay, then we're gonna edit there for now and then we'll resume Jisoo's route. Oh my god, Jisoo, bad. Don't do this to me. Take okay, guys, bye bye. See you in the next episode. I'm sorry if I kind of went a bit out of character with the voices, but I, I almost can't keep it together at these points. Okay, bye bye, guys. See you next time.